week three of road training at Melton Truck Lines. So I believe I left you guys. We were in Monroe, Michigan, uh, taking a load to Detroit for a Monday morning delivery. We pulled out of Monroe at 7 a.m., drove about 30 miles up to Detroit to the GM factory, dropped off two transformers, uh, got finished up there, and then got a load in Greenfield, Indiana, which was 200 and 200 plus miles. I don't know exactly how many miles it was. So it didn't pick up until Tuesday. This was Monday. So we drove uh, the rest of the day, Monday, to Yorktown, Indiana, shut down in Yorktown, Indiana, about 35 miles or so from our pickup. Woke up Tuesday morning. Um, I drove 289 miles on uh, Monday. Woke up Tuesday morning, the 24th, the 21st, and drove down to Greenfield, picked up our load in Greenfield. And then it took us all day to load, so we didn't get out of there. We got there at 7.30, and I don't think we could left until like 1.30, 2 o'clock. It, it took them a while to get that loaded, and we had to tarp it and all that crap. So anyways, uh, left there about 1 o'clock, and then drove to Greenville, Illinois, and shut down in Greenville, Illinois, and I drove 245 miles on Tuesday. Woke up Wednesday morning. In uh, This is the 22nd Wednesday. This was my final day with the trainer. Uh, left Greenville, Illinois, and I don't have a time, but uh, probably like, s I think we left about 6 in the morning, and we drove 433 miles, and we went to the Tulsa, Tulsa Terminal. I can't even talk today. Went to the Tulsa Terminal, and when we got to the ter Tulsa Terminal, uh, my trainer went ahead and dropped me off, finished up my training a couple days early. I think I spent 16 days with the trainer. Um, I don't know what normal is, uh, but that's what we got uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Uh, I think it was about 3 o'clock we got here. So I am in Tulsa, getting ready to get out of this truck, and I'm going to go to the hotel, spend the night at the hotel. At least that's the plan. And then we're going to see how long it's going to take us to get a truck. So next is getting issued a truck. So I didn't add up the miles. It was 289 on Monday, 245 and 4. So that's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, it's like 1,000 miles. It's probably a little bit more than that. About 1,000 miles, but we only drove three days. And my trainer dropped me off. He's actually in there right now um, picking up his next trainee. So I got to get my stuff out of the thing, out of the back here. I got it packed up. I was going to move my bags out. And then he is going to take out of here. The load we picked up in, uh, where did we pick it up at? Greenfield, Indiana is gone to El Paso, Texas. It's a 1400 mile run. So uh, we've knocked off, I don't know, 800 miles or so of that. And him and his new trainee is going to finish that load out. So that's it guys, uh, road training is done. I'm out of the trainer truck and I'm at the Tulsa terminal. We're gonna go in there, find out what's gonna happen and we're gonna see um, how long it's gonna be till I get a truck. It could be a day. I talked to other people that said it could be a few days to a week. We will find out, but that's it. Week three of road training is done. I'm done road training. I'm waiting on a truck. We'll see what happens after that. Again, don't forget, go into the comment section. If you got any questions, we're gonna do I'm gonna do a video where I answer any and all questions about orientation and road training and maybe getting a truck. We'll see what happens out of that. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is video number 25. Hopefully the next video will be me in a Melton truck.